Hey, what's going on, my beautiful people? This is Certified Life and Relationship Coach, Coach Court. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, is monkey branching narcissistic? Thank you for sticking around. If this is your first time viewing me, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you're notified for all the newest coaching content. Before I get into the content, if you want my help personally, the quickest way to get in contact with me is my website. It's www.fruitfulseedswiththezatheend.com or you can sign up for the YouTube membership right here or my Patreon account. All those links are in the description below. If you're not familiar with the membership program, you have an opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one every single month for as long as you're a member. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from one of my subscribers. Uh, he sent me an email and I thought this was a great email to answer. I have actually canceled answering emails from people. It's really tough. Uh, I get a lot of emails a day, probably 50 emails a day on top of Instagram DMs and um, Facebook messages. So it's just a lot. I had to cancel it. So um, I apologize. I do ever so often go through and answer questions from certain subscribers. So uh, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and I may be able to, you know, hook you up with a response. So on to the email. Hey Court, I don't know if you're still taking emails, but I thought I'd give it a try. I can't express enough to you how much your videos helped me probably have saved my life. So I'll be brief. Appreciate the briefness. Uh, I'm 42 years old and my ex is 28 years old. We are both from San Diego, California and was together for a year until she monkey branched to a guy her age. I always felt like she was narcissistic and that sort of proved it. Can you help me clarify? Thanks again for the email and keeping it brief. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down because this is a topic that I felt was is very important to cover. And also, I think it's cool that you live in San Diego. I'm coming out there at the end of the month to, co to coach a client, actually. So uh, it's also a reason why I picked the email because I think it's cool. And if you guys are ever interested in me coming and doing a VIP day with you, I'll be glad to do so as long as we can get the logistics down. Over the past five or ten years, I, I would say that uh, narcissism has been one that has been pushed out in the media, People have been, has been using on Instagram, you know, they're just using it pretty willy nilly, like like narcissists, like it's a it's a buzzword. Um, but there are a very small amount of people who are actually bona fide narcissistic. And this is based off what I've studied. You know, they have this little manual called a DSM where it talks about a lot of the different mental health illnesses, um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of psychological terms that uh, you need to be an actual a licensed clinician or someone that, that's a diagnostician that can actually um, diagnose if someone's necessarily a, nar a narcissist. But there are certain things that uh, kind of signify narcissistic tendencies. And I'm going to have four things here that I want to go over with you guys. And I think it's important for you to reflect on your relationship. If, if you're coming to my channel and you're you saw the, the title, I know it's probably going to be a controversial title, but you know this is a question I really wanted to answer. If you saw it and you, you're thinking like, oh, I feel like this is my situation, you know, especially if your ex monkey branched to someone else and you kind of thought that they were narcissistic like this guy did. I'm going to break it down for you. So the first thing that you'll see, you need to pay attention in, in relationships about this or be, be very mindful about this. Um, were they self-centered? Were there someone who the world always had to revolve around them? Like, was it... Someone who uh, had a hard time letting go of control, um, someone who was uh, constantly brought the lens back to them. You know, I had one guy that said that he was throwing a birthday party for his daughter and she started to blow up at him. And he was he gave me the, the go ahead to, to use this story. She blew up on him because her birthday was the next weekend and he was using a lot of his money on his pre his daughter. So. He thought that was a red flag. You know, he was with her for a couple of years and she ended up leaving him, too, for another guy and her monkey branching over, uh, I guess you would say. And he's like, man, I should have knew right away that that was an issue. So, yeah, usually when they're self-centered like that, there's there's a couple of issues going on here. This is going to tie to the next one I have, too, is uh, were they emotionally immature? You'll see a lot of emotional immaturity with someone who's narcissistic uh, because I guess they just can't comprehend um, why certain things are like if you were to have like a, a really logical really calm like i don't know guess dis disagreement or argument or whatever you want to call it if you were to have one of those interactions with them and you know the way that they handled the interaction seemed to be very childlike like one that you know it shouldn't have gone to the lens that it did maybe they, it blew up maybe they started to um, lash back out at you 
And that's the one thing you'll see too is they have a hard time taking accountability. Uh, and that's what that's how that shows up in that emotional immaturity. They have a hard time saying I'm sorry, digressing and agreeing to disagree. They pretty much always have to be right. And I think a lot of that has to do with their childhood because they they may have been toxically shamed. And this isn't take this with a grain of salt, because like I said, I'm not a therapist or a diagnostician or anything like that. But this is kind of the patterns that I've seen with people who who have those type of issues. They most likely had grown up in some type of really unhealthy, toxic environment. And, you know, they might have been toxic shame. They might have been a scapegoat. They might have been a person that everybody was always pointing the finger to when things go wrong. And they get into a relationship with you and you may not even be trying to, you know, criticize them or make them feel bad. But they take it that way. And they have a hard time conceding defeat and saying, you know what, you were right. It's just not something that you'll typically see from them. And the third one I have for you is you can't ignore their personal history and their family history. Right? And, I, and I, I say that together because it's all you know, their personal history. It, it involves their family history. Usually you'll see them come back, come from some situation where it was really toxic. It was a uh, I don't know if it's necessarily have to if it necessarily has to be toxic 100 percent of the time. But 80 to 90 percent of the time, it was an environment where it was chaotic. Someone struggled with drugs or alcohol. Someone was being neglectful. Someone had narcissistic personality themselves they may have been bipolar or may have struggled with depression or anxiety or they had a mom that you know wasn't really a a mindful mom had a bunch of different guys coming in and out of the household you know, those are the type of environments you'll see those people come from he said that he saw the signs of someone who was more narcissistic and i just gave you three you know there are so many more signs of narcissism like you have they have channels out there lots of channels out there that talks about this more in depth but when I'm making my videos, I try to keep them brief as possible. I appreciate you guys, and I want you guys to just get as much value out of these short videos as you can, and I don't want to have you sitting around for ever in a day just to get to the point. So if you found this video of any value, go ahead and click this link right here where I talk about whether or not monkey branching can actually work. And if you want to reach out to me on other social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, is I am Coach Court. Thank you, guys. Uh, and always remember, when you go be love, You'll never have to find it. Namaste.